Hey Workshop Addicts, I'm John. Today I want to show you the rigid oscillating belt slash spindle sander model EB4424. Uh, this is a great little unit. It was well thought out. This is one of those tools that have been out there for years and years and you know uh, Richard didn't really do much with it because it, they did it right the first time. Uh, I want to show you a lot of things with this. First off I want to point out that this oscillating spindle sander has a really nice onboard storage system. Almost everything stores onboard as you're using it. The only part that I can't find a place to put is this little little block here, this little stop for the belt sander. Um, this The belt actually stores in the back even when not in use. This little place right here it sits so uh, even the belt has got a place to stay, the belt sander part. Um, very nice. Um, so of course everything stores very secure so you don't have to worry about it falling down. Um, I'm going to show you how the edge sander works right now. Plugged in. This unit's very quiet. Basically oscillates up and down. Acts as a belt sander. Um, you have a little tracking knob here to get your belt lined up. Quick release knob to take it off. And it's like reverse threaded, so you got to remember that. If you want to switch this over to the edge sand, or the oscillating spindle sander part, just remove this, store it in the back, little slot that it sits in, take the cover out, put it up. You don't need this when you're working with the spindle sander part. Now you just basically pick what sanding column you want. Put it on, find the corresponding plate, and screw it down. Um, you actually got to add a, a washer to it that will help spread that rubber sleeve out to make the belt tight. And uh, If you don't do it, it's just going to slip, so remember to put that down. Switch over is this fast. Now you're ready to sand with the spindle. Um, of course, like most other ones, this has a hookup for a dust collection in the back. And it does okay dust collection, uh, dust collecting. Um, that's the only place, the only thing on this whole unit that I would have improved on. Um, if it was up to me, I would have designed uh, a couple holes or slots in these rings. Um, maybe in this little uh, plate, but uh, basically your dust collection comes around the spindle and through these little grooves in the back. And uh, it does okay. Now, you don't have all that dust flying in the air, but you might have a little bit of accumulating on the top. Uh, another nice thing about this that's very unique, um, the belt is super unique to these units, but another thing is you have a tilting table. so. You can set yourself, you know, 45, they have these stops on here, 45, 15, 25 and a half, 30 and 45. So when you're edge sanding with your belt, you can set your table however you want. Uh, that's really neat. Uh, another really neat feature that I probably wouldn't have picked up on right away if I hadn't been reading a manual. And uh, that is, this is very portable. You can take it out outside on the job site, or if you've got some sawhorses, you can set it up. There are some grooves on the side here that are meant for this unit to be set on 2x4s. You need to set the 2 by 4 standing up or lay them down, but it's kind of neat. Uh, this way you know if you're going on a sawhorse, this will be secure. It's really easy. not a heavy unit either. Um, most spindle sanders, spindle sanders aren't. So There. It's locked in on the 2x4s. If you were on uh, sawhorses, you'd be all set. Um, I really, really, really like this unit. And with the recent projects I've been doing, I've used it a lot. It does a very good job um, with pretty much everything. Finish sanding, if you have one thing you need to know about this is this unit comes with just one set of sleeves, sanding sleeves, 
Um, it's a coarse, probably 60 grit, 80 grit. I didn't look at it. And your belt, same thing here, is what I would expect. Your belt's going to have a coarse grit. But you can buy finer grits too. And I recommend that because when I was uh, sanding my profiles, I would want to use the finished sanding part after the router. I didn't really want it to be rough sanded, and I hate sanding by hand. So uh, if you get this unit, purchase a couple extra finer, um, finer grit sleeves. Overall, I really enjoyed this unit. It's uh, it's going to be used quite a bit in the shop, and uh, if you're in in the market for one, the other nice thing is this is a good price point. This is not your $400, $450 expensive oscillating spindle sander that that's all it does is spindle sand this is quite a bit cheaper than that and you have the option of the belt too so it's almost like two tools in one so give it a look if you're looking for a sander an edge sander or a spindle sander you'll be happy with it until next time i'm john talk to you later